Hello guys, welcome to Bike Geek. In today's video, I'm going to help you solve a frustrating problem where your internet is connected, but you can't access any website and browser. Let me show you what I mean. Right now, my internet is connected, but when I try to open Google Chrome and search for website, it doesn't work. Even if I open website like Google or any other site, I keep getting an error that says, this site can't be reached. If you're getting the same error, this video is for you. I'll guide you step by step on how to troubleshoot and fix this issue, even though your internet appears to be working. The first thing we'll try is restarting the DNS client and DHCP service. To do that, go to the Windows search bar and type services. When you see it in the results, open the services application. Once the services window open, click anywhere in the list and press the DN key to jump to services that start with the letter D, restart the DNS, right click on DNS and select properties. You'll see that it's currently running, but in some cases, like mine, the options to stop or restart the service might be grayed out or disabled. If you can restart it, do so, then check if the issue is resolved. If not, or if the restart option isn't available, don't worry. Close this window and find the DHCP client service. This service is responsible for assigning your IP address, so it's important that it's running. In most cases, it should already be active. We will try to restart this service as well. Since the DNS and DHCP service couldn't be restarted directly, it's time to run a few important commands in command prompt to reset your DNS settings and network configuration. Now open command prompt in Windows search type CMD and select the command prompt. Once the command prompt window is open, we're going to enter a few commands to fix the DNS and network settings. The first command you need to type ipconfig backslash flush DNS. This command will clear your DNS cache. After running it, you should see a message that says, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Next, type this command, net sh int ip reset and press enter. This will reset your IP configuration settings. Once you've entered those two commands, you'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So I'll go ahead and restart my system now. All right, my system has restarted. Let's test the connection again and see if the error is gone. It looks like the error is still there, so the problem hasn't been fully resolved yet. Now we need to go to the control panel to check if there's any manual IP configuration or incorrect network setting that might be causing the issue. Go to Windows search and type control panel. Open the control panel. Click on Network and Sharing Center, then click on Change Adapter Settings. Right click on your active network connection, usually Wi Fi or Ethernet, and select Properties. In the list, find and select Internet Protocol version 4 and double click on it. Now set the DNS server manually. We will use Google DNS Server 8.8.8.8. .8 These are Google's public DNS servers. Click OK, then close. Once that completes, let's check now to see if the issue is resolved. As you can see, the issue is still not resolved. So let's move on to the next method. Go to your browser, Settings. In left-hand side, select System. Then click on Open your computer's proxy settings. In the proxy settings window, check under Manual Proxy Setup. If there's a manual IP address entered, turn it off and save the changes. Now. Go back to the browser settings. This time, go to Privacy and Security. Then click on Clear Browsing Data. Switch to the Advanced tab. Here, make sure you only check the browsing history, cookies, and other site data and cached images and files. Once selected, click the Clear Data button. This will remove any potentially corrupted cache or settings causing connectivity issues. After clearing your browsing data, go back to the settings menu and click on reset settings. Then select restore settings to their original defaults and click reset. This will remove all personal settings, but don't worry, it won't delete your saved passwords or bookmarks. It's a safe step to try and often helps fix underlying issues with Chrome. Once the reset is complete, check if the issue is resolved. 
And as you can see, the issue has been fixed. Hopefully, your problem is also solved at this point. If you're still facing problems, try rebooting your router and sometimes it will resolve the issues. I hope you found this video helpful. If it solved your problem, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share with others who might need it. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video.